In Acumatica 2021 R1, there's a few new features surrounding hyperlinks. The first one is on dashboards. If we come up to design this dashboard and we go to add a new widget, you can see that there's a new widget called link. That link widget will allow you to pick an icon and navigate to a form in Acumatica. But there's also the ability to add a description to the link. And I really like that <clears throat> because it allows you to add HTML. I've done one already here. Let's go ahead and stay in this. And you can see here's a link that navigates to a form. You can include some parameters as well. I also like this description though because I can come in here and put HTML code. Like a BR tag is for a new line. Or we could go over here. And here's a hyperlink. That's HTML for a hyperlink. So you can get pretty creative with the description field or just use the regular form link field. When you're done, you've got a widget that links to a new form with this link right here. Or I've got hyperlinks in the HTML down here. This will take me to augforums.com. And this link will take me to ESPN. So great features around hyperlinks on dashboards. You can also do more with hyperlinks now in generic inquiries. If we take a look at this generic inquiry, I've got the vendor name, which is a hyperlink. And so if I click on this vendor name, for example, I have the ability to go browse outside of Acumatica. That's what I couldn't do before. And in this case, I'm just doing a simple Google search on the vendor name. I could also take a vendor's website and link it. So I can click on the Avalara website and it takes me to their website. To see how this works if I go in and edit the generic inquiry, go to navigation, and see here's where you do it. You put in the URL and then you can put parameters in double parentheses, like I have search string down there. And when you do that, the parameter will show up over here and then you feed it the value, in this case the vendor name. So that's the URL to do a Google search and then you just pass it the search term. And the next one down here, since I just want it to go to the vendor website, you can't put the parameter in the very beginning, so I just started it with HTTP colon slash slash, and then I'm feeding it the website to the parameter here. Now let's take a look at one more example, also on a generic inquiry. You now have the ability to control when a side panel appears. So let's take the tracking number, for example. I could just do the same Google search technique, the trouble with the tracking number is I'm not sure whether it's FedEx or UPS or something else. Google, though, is smart enough to take the tracking number and know what carrier it should be. So I could do that way, just like we did with the vendor name. I can't, though, at least I wasn't able to get this to work. I can't have the, the link be smart enough to know if it's FedEx or Google, or sorry, or UPS, to have it take you directly to their website. But a side panel, is smart enough. So let's say I'm on this FedEx tracking number. I use the side panel. Unfortunately, it can't open the window here, so I have to do an extra click. But it was smart enough to take me to FedEx. If I come back here and I go to UPS, I'm going to the same, or what appears to be, the same side panel. But now when I open it, it takes me to UPS.com. Now, what's actually happening is there's two side panels. If I go and look at the generic inquiry, there's two side panels. One is for FedEx, one's for UPS. You can see there's the URLs, and we're just passing in a tracking number parameter. But I'm using visibility conditions to only show this side panel if it's the UPS carrier, and only show this side panel if it's FedEx. So back on the, the generic inquiry, it appears that there's only one side panel, but it's actually two different side panels, but only one is getting displayed based on those new visibility conditions. So new stuff that you can do with outside hyperlinks in Acumatica 2021 R1. I like hyperlinks because I think they're a great way to integrate web applications without having to do any complicated API stuff that required developers. You can do a lot of what I would consider integration just by paying attention to the URLs on the top of different, um, different web applications.